Welcome back. My first guest tonight is a fantastically thin and handsome and tall and smells like apricots. <laughs> He's, uh, he's got uh, Doctor Who, the complete six series, is available on DVT. Uh, DVT, it's a new thing. Uh, it's, like, it's like DVDs, except there's T. <laughs> anyway, it's coming out on November the 22nd on the DVTs. Take a look at this. Crowd are getting restless. They know the Queen is your only legal move. Except you've already moved it 12 times, which means there are now over 4 million volts running through it. I am a dead man. Unless you concede the game. But I'm winning. Name your prize. Information. I work for the silence. They would kill me. They're going to kill me too very soon. I was just going to lie down and take it. But you know what? Before I go, I'd like to know why I have to die. That's like my job interview for this job. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Matt Smith, everybody. Matt Smith. Oh dear, you look very nice. You look, you look whimsical in your hat. You look, oh, marvellous, thank yes, you very much. you look whimsical. You got whimsical lovely Whimsical look hat. that I, I, I would like to occupy, so thank you very much. Uh, uh, what? That's an American Eiffel Tower. Yeah, and it's a, uh, I, it's, we went to Paris and I had this painting idea. Uh, I said to the French, we paint it like this. You might uh, get, you know, more people over from uh, America. From the US, and? Do they go for it? No, they said, what? <laughs> <laughs> They're lost. Yeah, I don't know. Do you go to France a lot, do you? I, uh, I, uh, well, the last time I went to France was when I went on the show with you and we did a little Paris Oh, yeah, that's segment. right, yeah, 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 that's and right. We were in France, but really we were here. Yeah. Yes, I remember. And we came back for, yeah, hop. All right, Jeff. Hey, good to see you. Nice How's it bowler going? hat. <laughs> it's whimsical. You know, you, you're, you're right to wear a bowler hat now. There's certain years a man can wear a bowler hat and then you get past a certain age and then you just look like a banker. You want to try it on? No, I'm afraid I've passed my bowler hat years. Really? Uh, yeah, <laughs> bowler hat you can wear in a sort of ironic, whimsical way when you're kind of like you or like Johnny Depp in that film where he did that thing. With the hat? Yeah, uh, but, <clears throat> but after a certain age, if I put it on, I'd look like a banker. That's rhyming slang for what I'd look like. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, yes, I mean, I, I take that as a compliment. Have Maybe you got a very large head? No, but I've got big ears. Well, that'll compensate, so if you put a big hat on, it'll still, it won't go down Fine too enough, far. But look, yeah. if it goes too far, I was called Dumbo as a child. Um, um, look, can you see? Can you see my big ears? <laughs> yeah, also, that's right. Laugh at his big ears, you yeah. bastard. Ah, ha, ha, you've got big ears. Your ass! <laughs> <laughs> lesbian row? Yeah, yeah, well, apparently no lesbians ever sit there, which no, I feel is awful. I feel terrible about it. False uh, advertising. Yeah, well, you know, I just say I, I can't be crowd control, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> or else you wouldn't be here, ass. <laughs> How have you been? Have you been travelling around America then? I've been all right. I've been, uh, um, I came over for an award ceremony. Really? The Scream Awards, yeah. What's that then? It's, it's, it's sort of a science fiction fantasy award show. So I came over to do that. Um, and I'm Did they give you an award for being Doctor Who? Yeah, yes, oh, well, yes. congratulations. That's the, the, the Scream Award. That's the big one. That's no, the, that's, yeah. that's the one that I all... Whoa, well, no, what? Literally bowled over. So, no, yeah. that's fantastic. The Scream Award is the one that, you know, many have tried and failed. Uh, well, exactly. Although they didn't actually give me an award. I, I accepted the award. Right. You do the thing and then you walk off stage and they take the award off you. I know. Ridiculous. Is this a CBS show? Or no. <laughs> they take the award back and then what yeah. happens is you well, don't really get the awards at all. One hopes they engrave it and send it to you. It's a big spiky thing. It could be. It would be a very lethal weapon. Well, perhaps that's why they didn't give you the award. They were worried that you were going back through the airport and you'd uh, be I, taken away from you. Well, exactly. I mean, so, so uh, you never told me about Lesbian Row before. Either. Well, I didn't want to get you. I didn't want you to think, oh, that that Los Angeles is full of. Surprising things. Like Lesbians that. that are going to be extra. Yeah, yeah. No, no. They're, they're, they're all right. They're. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, it's not like death row. They're not under any kind of sentence. No. No, no. And you can, uh, you, but you can appeal to not be on lesbian. You could say, I don't want to sit there. What you, you, you sort of decide that you're no longer a lesbian. Well, no. Apparently, what's happening now is that people want to sit in lesbian row, even although they're not lesbians, because it's their opportunity to get on the show and get a free night in Las Vegas yeah. or something. <laughs> 
which looked a lot of fun, I got to say. Yeah, it looked more fun than I've ever had in yeah, Vegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they took my little person as well. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to Vegas? I have. We, 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 yeah, we've so had this, yeah, 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 yeah. stayed in the yeah. Playboy yeah, oh. thingy. What? Yeah. But there weren't any Playboy bunnies there. I mean, it was, a, you know, sadly not. It was just an apartment. Wow. Nice, though, and there's a jacuzzi on the end of it. Did, I mean, where did you guys stay? Uh, in a jacuzzi? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Knock it off, man. Stop hitting on the lesbians. <laughs> you get, oh, I'm Doctor Who, I've got a bowler hat. Hey, I, no. I just won the Scream Award. Oh, no. What the yes, hell? No. That's what's happening. Can we come to my basement lording it over my lesbians? How dare you, oh. sir, I say. <laughs> Are you going back to London, sir? Back to London on Friday, really? yeah, where it's very cold. Yeah. Um, Will you and, be um, shooting the new Doctor Who, then? No, you? we've just done a Christmas special, but I've got a bit of time off now. Oh, really? I'm still campaigning for the part, you know, for a Craig Ferguson To be on Doctor Who? Show. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. What, what, with your timing? Yes, well, you see, I, I don't have very good timing, and apparently that's required. <laughs> <laughs> No, I... Uh, You're just busy for the no, rest... No, I would, I would love to do it. I'd love to be on life. Doctor Who. But I'm saying that so that they can reject me and not feel too bad about it. Like, it'll, it'll look like I said, oh, I, I'm too busy, so that they can say, oh, good. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that they're going to reject you. Well, no, let's I see. Think, I think they will reject Why? me. Yeah. Well, I, I think, yeah, to be honest, I'm, I'm sorry, Matt, I think they're humouring you. I think they're because you're really? the, yeah because you're the actor and and you say hey my friend Craig should be on and they'll be like yeah sure Matt sure hey look here's something sparkly over here <laughs> <laughs> see the girl with the dragon tattoo they, yeah they they treat actors very badly yeah yeah well you know we can but try keep campaigning well I don't know but then if I get on it and I'm not good then what happens they then will all, be all the Whovians right? will be mad at me they'll be like you ruined Doctor Who for us you also oh, oh, oh. did you write a film about hairdressers yes. Yes, years ago. Yeah. yeah. I was in it, too. I know. Yeah, yeah. I found that out today. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of explains the box office returns for the movie, really. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. see... Was it with Alan Cumming? No, no, no he wasn't no, no. in it. No, okay. but I do know Alan, yeah. I oh, mean, right. Alan and I used to work in the theatre together in, uh, in Scotland years ago. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Because I was fatter then. Oh, so you were fat then? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was very fat. Professionally. That looks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was professionally overweight, yeah. Oh, right. So, and then how did you get thin? Attention. <laughs> America? No, not really. Uh, no, I, I stopped drinking beer. Right, yeah. Well, if you drink the amount of beer I drank, it peels right off you yeah, when you yeah, stop, yeah. yeah. It's calorific beer. Yeah, it is, it is. Uh, I like a beer. Uh, yeah, a beer, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I, a beer for me was, uh, you know, a, a week. Yeah. You know, uh, anyway, we're out of time. So, what do you find? Oh, oh we've got a new one. Oh, oh, look, uh, Doctor Who video. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm told there's a sort of question thing where yeah, I can win money. Yeah, there's a new thing. There's a new thing. Win the big cash prize. Do you want to go for that? Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay, absolutely. So win the big cash prize. Right. What it, what it is, is that this is, a, this is the big cash prize here. $50 in singles. Is it real singles. money? Yes, yes it is. Real single notes, acceptable at any strip club in these United States. Okay. <laughs> and, but you have to answer a question before you get them, all right? Oh, it smells like fake money, but, you know, okay. Yeah. I've never smelled fake money. What does fake money smell like? <laughs> I haven't got a wallet on me. Well, it smells like freshly printed... Anyway, go on. It smells a bit odd. Well, no, no, smell my finger. No! Ah, <laughs> uh, nearly right. got you. All right. All right, here we go. Let's see. Right. It's like Monopoly. Did no, you no, no, it's not anything oh, it's not. like Monopoly. Right. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I would do well at this. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. True or false? Uh, Which, wait, wait, wait. Right. No, 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 it's not that easy. Because <laughs> one's true and one's false. The capital's no, no. true, the North Atlantic is... No, 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 it isn't the North Atlantic. Oh, right, OK. okay. So they're both true, but that's not the question. That's oh, right. the lead-in to the question. Oh, okay, sorry. That's setting the tone for the question. Oh, right, OK, sorry, right. sorry. Yeah, right. All right, true or false? The children's nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill, is really about the beheadings of Louis the... Uh, Someone. Yeah. And, uh, that the, puts they, me why do they call French kings after Super Bowls? It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> 
All right, so uh, King Louis and Marie Antoinette, is it true or not true? Or false? <laughs> Three options. True, <laughs> not true, or false? Uh, what's Iceland got to do with that? <laughs> Nothing, it's just to get you in the mood for questioning. Right, oh, I see. You see, it's like Iceland's in the North Atlantic. You go, oh, and your brain starts going, ah, quiz coming, right, right. Reykjavik, and I then Reykjavik is the the cowboy, and you go, and then you went, true, but that's not true. I mean, it is true, but that's not the question. Okay, so. Good so, night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> So Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. water. Jack fell down and broke his gown and Jill came tumbling after. Is that, is that about Marie Antoinette and King Louis or not? No. Oh. True. Oh, bugger. Which, yeah, which is a shame because I really wanted to give you the $50. So I will. Oh. Yay! Oh. Thanks, <laughs>